in the end this is the final result now I'm going to probably change the top of the roof and probably the root the windows uh, shape framing thingy there you can't see it but uh, I'm gonna change that to a different color but this is what it looks like in the end and I think it did a fantastic job the only other little thing I'm probably gonna do is get some wool or something and make like a smoke um, column but I think it looks fantastic in my opinion and it's getting dark and I'm gonna change locations I'm not gonna sleep there over there anymore I'm gonna sleep in here for now so I did add the glass door as you can see it's pretty nice that's a carpenter's block by the way and this is the finished lineup for our our smeltery which is really awesome looking I think in my opinion and then up here you got the dogs in the background probably barking god dang it every time I want to record something oh god dang it anyways up here will be where the blacksmith would sleep and then occasionally if we need to have access to the outside this is where the blacksmith would basically be able to run around and get oh, oh, get what uh, get what he needs and fixes fixes and fix the um, the column or the chimney or whatever you want to call it anyways uh, this is a carpenter's block bed I thought it looked really cool so I decided to make one uh, you need the carpenter's hammer and there's a whole bunch of other stuff uh, that you really don't need you don't really don't need the carpenter's hand hammer neither you just need carpenter here but yet let me just show you it'd be easier carpet carpenter carpenter bed carpenter bed there it is so that's what you need carpenter blocks and three wool and it makes a very nifty bed so I thought that was pretty cool so uh, yeah unfortunately now the reason why we had to use solid blocks here just to explain is because the panel won't fit in a micro block so this is a micro this isn't micro blocked um, behind it is micro blocked uh, I left I left it kind of like a, like a like an old you know like a blacksmith I mean I don't think a blacksmith would have like you know fine fine luxury stuff in his blacksmith shop if you know what I mean also I'm probably gonna wind up turning this area into a uh, blacksmith shop uh, counter and move all of this stuff maybe over here or something and get one of the villagers preferably the carpenters block villager I think he's still alive over here oh shit I missed this damn how'd I miss this you saw nothing you saw nothing okay and get the get him in here and that way we have the carpenters or not carpenters we have the blacks um, damn the Tinker's construct guy in here with Tinker construct and the smeltery because I kind of figured he's a blacksmith and if I have a blacksmith villager hanging out you know in there I'm gonna bring him in here too um, but I'll make a nice little countertop and all that good stuff for him I'll probably turn this into maybe a door or something so if I had to have access to them we can open this door and go around or something I'll figure that out when the time comes anyways uh, I'm gonna cut to the video of finishing the project and I hope you enjoy the music all music is basically done in the creators tool section that you can find on YouTube in the dashboard area so please don't try to copy strike me on music or third party me on music when all this music is coming from YouTube itself so there you go uh, I had somebody ask me about that again and I have wanted to tell them you know this is what it is I like this design though this is pretty nifty I don't like this I want I think I'm gonna change this to the to the to the searing brick maybe later on maybe not but it looks good to me I think this looks this looks oh, let me make sure I have an open I don't have a hand that can change that ah no anyway I have to get the sword up and go into um, also when I reloaded I think there was an update it basically turned everything over there in the cow pen an animal pen into dirt yeah so I don't know what the hell that was and uh, just to show you 
I did a little bit more exploring while I was out and about. Um, got up to here and kind of turned around. So uh, my next exploration will be to get a boat going and maybe f go over here and see what's over here. Uh, every now and then I need to break the monopoly up of, you know, working. You know, the, wall's the wall is almost finished. I think I can, uh, let me show you that. I'll show you that and then I'll end the episode. Or we'll cut to the, to the thingy here. So we've got the wall almost done. Oh my god, the amount of cobblestone it is taking to get this wall done. Oh shit, that's my minion. Let me, let me unsummon him. <laughs> See? There we go. Alright, I've been using my minion to strip uh, all this area out. But we got this done finally. I just have to finish the, the floor. And it's going to look really good with the towers up. Uh, oh, I missed one. Damn it, how did I miss that? Can I actually hit it from here? No. I don't want to go off, go off the wall here. But uh, I have not gotten a bat yet. A bat, I mean, there's tons of bats, don't get me wrong. But I haven't killed a bat to fly because I think it's this is much more challenging uh, by the way I did lose a lot of animals so there could be like you know a chicken there or something this or that but uh, as you can see it I did shorten and small size the pin but you can see where everything got turned into dirt I mean even though the blueberry bushes over there was turned to dirt for some reason I don't know why anyways so yeah, this looks really good to me right now. Uh, and here's the aerial view. We'll get rid of all those trees eventually. Uh, and this house here will have to go away as well, uh, unfortunately, because we need it for guard towers. And uh, the witch's the witch's spawn point, uh, which is back over there. I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to tear down. And I'm, I'm waiting to get the technology to uh, transport witches to a uh, death pen and I have something special in mind for them because those <clears throat> people issues with them mm, so bad anyways uh, another rack will probably be added here just to give that fire effect uh, but you know I mean I may not because it's pretty nice to be able to look down and see what's in the smeltery so we may take this one out. Oh shit, that's a panel. Oh my goodness. Um. Oh boy, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Um. Can we take these off? Ah! Inventory space! Can I get a... There we go. Come on, give me this other one. Okay, let me think about this real quick. Dang it, this is the part I hate because now I have to sit here and figure out... Because <sighs> I want to be able to... I mean, this is perfect. Because be able to look down like that, that's perfect. So I guess we'll do... This. Is that going to work? Yeah, this will work. And then we'll put that up there. I don't need you in my life right now. Please get out. And then... Did we lose one in there? No. Maybe if I take this one. Dang it! Um, let's take... I'm... I'm on the back, on the background, I'm playing uh, Metroid. Um, I don't know why, just because I wanted to. Okay, that'll work. This will work. This will work. This will work. Okay, and then we'll just panel that, and then panel, panel that. Oh yeah, that looks. Oh, that's much better. Okay, yeah, that'll work out perfect. And the concept is, is that the blacksmith would stay warm during the winter with uh, his furnace or smeltery down below it's pretty legit and um, maybe maybe I cut these panels 
cut these into panels, maybe? Marble cobblestone panels. Can we recut them again? Covers. Uh, maybe I take these and we just kind of like... Ooh, we, okay. Kind of do like this. Put that in there like that. That in there like that. So, yeah, that'll that'll look good. That'll look good. Or maybe, I don't know. Daggum it. Maybe come down. I know the panel would be right there. We could put that right there. That right there. Yeah, something like this. And then during the summertime, he could close this up and then the heat would go up through the chimney. So I thought that was pretty nifty. And, uh,. If we have to, we can lock a. Um, if we have to, we can um, we can put or allow a villager up here to uh, somehow lock this door, but uh, allow a villager up here so that that way they can uh, they can mingle. Which, by the way, I I, I want to let you know something. If you um I don't have it on me, but in my in the uh, micros uh, blocks. Whatever the hell they're called, yeah, the micro blocks. Um, if you cut a panel, a clear panel, it it cuts it, it cuts it, it shows it's cut, but then it doesn't show an icon. And I think that's just something maybe that's part of the textiles on this, on the on the 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 mod pack. But anyways, you can use that as like ba invisible barriers. That's a freaking cool idea. So, like, you can have villagers only walk certain areas. And this is kind of like what I'm thinking in my head. But have villagers walk in... I'm, I'm holding my hand up instead of walking. Um, but you can have villagers uh, go to certain areas and be protected. Because you have, like, you know, this invisible wall or something. Which would be pretty nifty, in my opinion. So... Uh, this is officially going to be done after I get the, uh, should really do something with that, shouldn't I? Maybe I can, do I have any, I have some marble, hold on, sorry about this, just, I can't, I'm trying to make it, trying to make it realistic, you know, anyways, uh, but make it so they can walk around, and I love putting the, putting these windows in pretty nice because you can see if something's out there while you're standing here because they can't see you through he through here not even micro blocks they can see you which is pretty nifty now the floor the bottom of this thing is made out of the solid blocks okay and I did that on purpose to protect us from stupidity things and whatnot and to be able to put stuff on the walls if we have to uh, micro blocks kind of stop you from doing that if it's not a flat surface uh, this is iron. I'm having to make iron because I need uh, I need to fix my we oh I need to fix my weapons, and that's I've showed this before, so I don't think I have to show it. Well, I'll show you again. So if you go here, oh god, I had a whole bunch of them. What the hell? Uh, give me that. Thank you. If we go over here and we put our oh not this one, we put this one in. Oh perfect. Look at that. 100 percent. Oh. Perfect. Anyways, uh, I need iron for this, so we'll just swap out the iron. Currently, this is my uh, my uh, tool for death and destruction and everything else in between. That that hopefully will despawn. Wait, get out of my inventory. Get out of my inventory. No, I want. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on. Something else that's pretty cool. I don't know if it's gonna show. It may not show. Uh, no, it's not gonna show. It's sometimes like if stuff falls in the smeltery, you can actually collect it through here, which is pretty awesome. I mean, you can't save villagers, which is the reason why we built this, it was because villagers were dying in it. Uh, but it's 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 pretty nifty. I like Tinker's construct. I wish. Uh, Mojang would put this into into light and make it a little bit 
a little bit more uh, crafting wise. I think the modder made a good choice doing it like this. I, I really do. So, all right. So we're gonna cut to that video. I'm sorry, guys. It took so long, but I just wanted to show you around. So, see, look there, you dirty little bastard. If I had an arrow, a bow and arrow, I would shoot you. I would kill you. Oh, oh. Okay, go into the video. <laughs> 